It's Miracles Today with Billy Burke. Coming from Ruth Eckerd Hall in Clearwater, Florida, Billy Burke was healed of terminal brain cancer at a very early age at a Catherine Kuhlman service. Ms. Kuhlman called him out on the balcony, and when she touched him with the power of God, the cancer was completely gone. Today, Pastor Billy is taking that same healing power of God to the nations. Oh, no pain. No pain. I knew my dad was gone. I can see. I have my voice back, and I am cancer free. I can go. So happy to have you here with me today on Miracles Today. Our God has not changed. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Meaning that when you read the stories of Jesus and you see all that Jesus did, the blind man that he healed, the Lazarus that he raised from the dead, and you know, the man that was paralyzed at the, uh, the Bethesda pool for 38 years and many, many more. John says there's so many miracles they couldn't even record them all. But the most important miracle of all is the one that you are about to receive. So many of you watching the broadcast today, you're living with stuff that you don't have to be living with. You know, it's just, we've got to get past just being entertained by preaching and entertained by Christian programming. And we've got to begin to let our faith swell up and reach that you too can believe, you too can expect, you too can receive a miracle. Did you hear me? You too. Yes, other people have good stories. Yes, the Bible's true and all those stories, but God wants to get you your own story, your healing of diabetes, your healing of migraine headaches, or your healing of coming through so much chemotherapy that is making you sick and weak, and now God's going to step in and you're going to be a miracle. You are going to be a miracle. Anyhow, we got some great footage to show you today. So many people in coming into these crusades with impossible situations. The doctors say you can't live. Friends say there's no hope. You know, and sometimes even the preachers say, oh, what are we gonna do? But you know what, God is never nervous. And some of the footage we're gonna show you today, I believe God's gonna touch you, build your faith, so that you, in the next 25 to 30 minutes, can reach for that hymn and get your miracle today. Let's go watch God work. Yes. Um, I just want healing. Huh? I said I want healing for my spine. What's wrong with your spine? I had an accident, and a construction accident. I used to be a drywall hanger. And you were a drywall hanger? Steel stud framer. A steel, steel huh? Steel erector. You're a construction girl? Yes. And how'd you hurt your spine? I fell off of the building three You stories. fell off three stories? Yeah, and I landed on rebar. You landed on what? Rebar. Who's this guy here? He's my husband. Well, you married a construction worker. Yeah, so she was a sheriff at the time. <laughs> she was a sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> so how bad do you hurt? I hurt a lot. You hurt a lot? Yeah. Come and hug me. Just come and hug me. Give me a hug. Just give me a big hug. Your husband's right here. Come on, hug me. <laughs> Still hurt? Hmm? Yeah. Still hurt? Still hurt? Yeah. Still hurt? Uh-oh, what's happening? What's happening? Walk over to here. How's that feel? Still hurts. Still hurts. <laughs> Put your hands up. Holy Ghost. All over her body, we pray. All over her body, we pray. We thank you now for touching her back. Almighty Jesus. Come on, every hand up, church. Every hand up. Every hand up. She came believe. Oh, my gosh. She came believing for that. Give God a praise. I'll tell you what. Wow. Wow. How are you? I'm doing great. What do you mean you're doing great? Um, the pain ain't completely gone. Uh-huh, but? But I wasn't stiff this morning. I didn't have to take a pain pill. Now, here's the girl last night. Remember this? It seemed like nothing was happening. 
But she left, went to bed, and you didn't take a pain pill? No. And I usually take about an hour to be able to move around and go to the bathroom and all that. And this morning I just got up and I was, I didn't recognize it. Come on, say his word word. never returns void. void. It's incorruptible. incorruptible. It cannot be corrupted. corrupted. Come on, give God a shout. You know, you were on my mind when I went home last night. And so were you. <laughs> I was thinking about you all night and... You what? I said I was thinking about you all night and I was talking to Jesus and I told him, thank you. Thank you very much because so many doctors have not been able to help me and <sighs> you have. And tell, tell them what happened. Some of them don't know what happened. We prayed for her last night. She fell. How far did you fall? Mm, three stories. She fell three stories. Out of a building. She, um, a she I, landed? I landed. They were doing concrete forms on the bottom. And me and my partner, we both um, landed on the rebar. He passed away on top of me. And I had, uh, I don't know if it was 24 pieces or something, rebar through me. And um, I was in the hospital for about a year. And then that I changes the healing donut, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I just wanted to say thank you, and there's nothing that I can give you for what you've given me. And I just want to tell you thank you. And I don't know you, but I feel love for you because of what you have helped me with that I've been suffering for so long and no doctor would be able to help me. And they just sent me home and they would tell me, take all these pills and just rest. Mm-hmm. And don't do a lot. Wow. And this morning I can feel it. And last night we both felt that we went home and I just felt so at peace. I've never felt so at peace because we're so stressed with our finances, but I felt so at peace, and I don't know what, I've never felt that before, and we just got saved about a couple months ago. (laughs) And I just, I, I was... I drew a drawing for you and we fell asleep and I didn't make it here. And you I did what? At home. You, did, you did what? I said I did a drawing for you. A drawing? Because I draw. You draw? And I left it at home. Oh. And because I fell asleep and then I got here just a little while ago. And I told Robert, I said, I'm drawing this for him because I don't have money to give you. <laughs> but I forgot it at home. <laughs> It's a, it's a big drawing of Jesus Christ breaking the bread and you can see the background and everything. I want you to take her back, take her back and give her one of everything on her table. One of everything on our table. Amen. Take her back. This guy's going to take you right back on our table. I'm going to give you one of everything, okay? I don't want nothing. No, you I gave wanna, me everything. No, I want, I want to give you more. You're going to get used to this. You gotta get used to this. Thank you. Come on, give her a big God bless you. Come on. Absolutely moving. What can you say with what we just saw? Let's go hear some healing music. This is just for you.
beautiful. We'll be right back. As you watch today's broadcast of Miracles Today with Billy Burke, this powerful healing signal that's being broadcast to millions of people all over the world. Our prayer partners are standing by to pray for you. Call now and speak to someone who wants to pray for you to receive all that God has for you today. Call 844-A-MIRACLE. That's 844 and the letters A-MIRACLE. Call now. He's touching many of you right now. There's so many of you being healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. And spinal stenosis, there's someone with spinal stenosis being wonderfully touched by the mighty, mighty power. There's someone with bleeding gums that you can't seem to get. There's a form of pyorrhea being wonderfully touched by the master. There's a number at the bottom of your screen. Hurry, hurry, call, call. Someone else has had a, some kind of a rod placed into your back. And now you have the back pain that you used to have, plus you have the pain of that rod. God's healing your back and dissolving the rod. That's what's happening to you. I mean, that number's there. Call. Tell the person there, I'm the band or I'm the woman that Pastor Billy called out with that rod in the back. He's healing you now. That's why that number's there. Please call. We have a guest today on the program, and let's see, Lord, who is this? Pastor, this is Richard. Richard. Good afternoon, sir. Okay, Richard, what's your last name? Derrico. Richard Derrico from? Sarasota, Florida. Sarasota, Florida. Tell me what happened. What happened? Well, I was invited three times. Oh. And on the third time... You didn't come the first two? No. Oh, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> well, then your, your man of God said, I don't think you understand, brother. The Lord told me to invite you. Oh. And I said, well, what did you say? So said, the Lord told me. What was your symptoms? What was your suffering from? I, have a, I had a lump on my back for quite some time. Mm -hmm. And that was burning and burning and burning on that third invite. Mm. And I came. Mm. And uh, I spent the whole night down in the Holy Spirit. What do you mean by that? What do you mean down? Uh, I, you just, you, I, you asked me what was going on. Yeah. And I said, I've been running my race. Yeah. And, I'm t and you came and I was out in the Holy Spirit. You mean you went under the power? Oh, yes, and sir. And you're laying on the floor yes, in, in the meeting in Sarasota? Yes, sir. Okay, so you're out on the floor. Anything happening while oh, you're down there? It's, I was, it, the only things, the only thing I could move was my <laughs> two index fingers 
and I heard every testimony and every Just a minute. Confession. If you've never experienced, I don't know who's watching this, but I don't know where you're picking this up, but if, you've, if you have never experienced going under the power, I know it has been abused. I know that, I just know that, but I'm saying there is a genuine, real, tangible power of God that comes out of the third heaven and that moves through people into other people. That's called the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And that's what he's talking about. Because I don't want some of you to get lost thinking what kind of scary thing is going on there. It's only scary if someone has planted the wrong seed in you. That's all. But if you're open to the things of God, he's promised not to ever harm you, but to give you an experience that's, that's greater than any drink or drug or any movie, any relationship, any vacation. I mean, there is nothing better. He can't, he can't even fully describe it. And you were hearing everything. And everything. Okay, so you were down under the under the power on the ground, and then he said, "Son, I want you to help these ministers. Yeah. I want you to bring people to these." Well, but tell me what happened to your condition. Oh, I mean, I don't know. I was out in the spirit, and okay, but you so you had a lump on your back, and, and you didn't know what was wrong. No. So what no. was said to you? That what was said yes. when I finally came to? Yeah. Okay. Well, one of your ushers actually stood on my hand. Yeah. And I saw myself lifting him. Oh my. Right up out of, out of my hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and heard what you said. What was that? You, you said, I said, the lump is still there. Uh -huh. And you said, yeah, but the bad stuff is all coming out. And when I got home, I went to the bathroom. Okay. Urinating. Uh huh. And it was red orange in the toilet. It was like growing, 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 came out of me. And, and then after that, I still a lump, but there's no more pain. There's no more, that was stiffening my legs. It was taking over my legs. It was taking over my legs. I couldn't, oh, I couldn't walk like I used to walk. And now you can walk? I can walk. No pain? No pain. And, and there's no more cancer? Or? I don't go to doctors. I, I trust in the Lord. I just... Amen. So when you saw that stuff in the commode, the oh. orange and the red, what did you think? Was the word cancer ever mentioned to you? You said that word. Oh, my. You said that word. Yes, sir. So, you said that word. So there was a word said. He didn't know he had cancer. Oh, my. Mm. What did you think when you no. heard that? No, I said, no, no, I didn't. I didn't, no, I, I just refused that word. Jesus is bigger than all those words. He is, <laughs> oh, Lord. he's bigger than those words, but those words have to be challenged. Yes, sir. And you left that happen to you. And you didn't get mad that that was said. You didn't get angry. You went home and you just <laughs> urinated out all that cancer. Yes, sir. Amazing. Yes, sir. Where, so you live in Sarasota? Yes, I do. Have you been back to a service after that? I haven't, sir. You haven't? No. But we'd like to see you in one of these great meetings yeah, there. And you will. This is a great story. Thank you. And what's the first name here again? Richard. Richard, let me shake your hand. <laughs> he, he has spared you. He has spared you, Richard. He's kept you alive. Thank you. It's the power, Richard. It's the power. It's the power. I'll tell you, people, this is amazing. There's a power in this studio today that's coming right into your, wherever you're watching this, on your laptop, on your iPhone, in your television. I don't know where you're getting this, but I'm telling you, the anointing is coming out there and he's healing so many of you right now. Carpal tunnel is being wonderfully healed. There's a legally blind person and, and your eyes are just clearing up. You're just amazed how clear everything is getting. Absolutely amazing. COPD being wonderfully healed by the power of God. Amazing. Someone, you're paralyzed. You've been paralyzed. You've been in a wheelchair. And all of a sudden, your legs are starting. You're getting some kind of reaction here. Some kind of spasm. You think that's just a spasm. No, you're getting healed. Everything's coming back. Stem cells are being created. Your muscles are coming back into play. God's touching you by his mighty power. We give you praise, dear Lord. There's shingles disappearing from the torso shingles that the rash is absolutely the blistering is going away from the torso people this is amazing oh is god ever working that's why that number is there call if people waiting to agree with you in faith for this oh it's i mean that number is the next best thing besides getting into a service 
You need to look at our itinerary at the end of the broadcast here and see wherever, get into one of these meetings, the music, the message, the miracles, that whole synergy of the presence of God has the ability to turn everything around for you. He didn't even know he had cancer. You know, I mean, he had the lump, he had the burning, he goes home and he urinates red and orange, and then all of that other stuff disappears. God's good. He's a good God. And he's able to help you with what you either don't know or what you do know, or what you do know the wrong way. Because no matter what it is, he's the God that can do the impossible. That's what Mark 10, 27 is all about. With God, all things are possible. I'll tell you what, this is an amazing broadcast. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with our friend here, Richard. Richard, he's more out now than he was in the meeting. This is absolute, there goes our worker right here. I, if, if all everybody falls, we won't be able to bring continue this broadcast. This is the this is people hurry, run to your phone, run, run, run. Or if you have an iPhone right there, punch the numbers in. But and, and if you get a busy signal, keep calling. Get this prayer, get this healing touch coming into your life tonight. And if you want to come into one of our TV shoots, we're having one very, very soon over in Clearwater where we're gonna have people come to a live service, a live broadcast. So this is so amazing. Toronto, come to Toronto, come to Pittsburgh, come to Tampa, Sarasota, Miami, we're every other week in Miami. And you know what? We're living in this great hour of visitation. God's trying to keep people alive so he can serve them and keep people healthy and strong. You can watch this and laugh, watch this and make fun. You can do whatever you want to do. I'm fully persuaded. I've been somewhere, I've tasted something, I've seen something. I can never go back. All I'm doing is sharing my story and the stories of the Bible that I believe are not just relevant and true for that time, but they're true for today and they're true for you. So there's a lady watching me, you've had multiple abortions. You just simply can't go forward. You're just stymied by, and you know you just need help. I wanna help you, I wanna help you. You call that number and you say, Pastor Billy said he wants to help me. We will put you in touch with the right people. If you let me, we can get you through this dark time and get you into a time where it's more healing. You can turn the, all of these, uh, what Psalm 84 says about the valley of Baca, the valley of weeping. And the Bible says that David said, we'll turn the valley of weeping into pools and springs of living water. God has a new season coming for you. It's gonna be a good season. Leukemia being wonderfully healed. And uh, Lou Gehrig's, this whole thing that Lou Gehrig had, ALS, being wonderfully healed by the power. Oh my God, the healing power of the Holy Spirit. Lord, we thank you today. We praise you. I thank you, Lord. I pray your mighty presence go out over all into the people. Teenagers being touched. There's people holding on to things you, you want to keep from falling under the power. You're feeling shaky. Your legs are shaking. People are feeling the, the presence of the Holy Spirit in such a strong, magnificent way. We thank you for your glory, dear Lord. We thank you, we praise you, oh dear Jesus. I'm telling you, this is absolutely, absolutely amazing. Please go to the website, call the number, get some of the material we have to get you strong and encouraged. Get the knowledge that gives you the power. Until I see you again right here on the broadcast or in the meeting summer, remember that everything is possible with God. With all of life's noise and distraction, it's a challenge to maintain an atmosphere of healing peace. That's why Pastor Billy has created Healing Scriptures from the Psalms. The anointing flowing through this CD can break through all the noise and clutter and carry you to that precious secret place with our Lord Jesus. Healing Scriptures from the Psalms features selected passages in the book of Psalms that Pastor Billy has chosen specifically to help create that atmosphere of healing peace in your life. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all of his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, and who healeth all of thy diseases. The world-class background music track is from Roby Tulak, who at a tender age was exposed to and influenced by the music in the Catherine Kuhlman ministry. Call now or go online to order your copy of Healing Scriptures from the Psalms. Your life may never be the same. As you watch today's broadcast of Miracles Today with Billy Burke, this powerful healing signal that's being broadcast to millions of people all over the world. 
Our prayer partners are standing by to pray for you. Call now and speak to someone who wants to pray for you to receive all that God has for you today. Call 844-A-MIRACLE. That's 844 and the letters A-MIRACLE. Call now. Pastor Billy's World Outreach website is a wonderful tool designed just for you, no matter what you're going through. You'll see many things that will greatly help you, like Pastor Billy's Word of the Week. Just click on the triangle and enjoy a special word that's new every week. Or go over to the Miracles Today window where you can watch past shows or enjoy the most recent Miracles Today broadcast. It's Miracles Today with Billy Burke. You can also visit the Crusade itinerary window and see when Pastor Billy will be in your area again. There's so much to experience like what to do when you are beginning your healing experience. You can encourage your faith by clicking on the Miracle Theater, which documents God's amazing healing power through the many lives that forever were changed through this ministry. And you can pick up valuable resources that will help you gain a stronger walk with the Lord, a more powerful faith life, and receive the amazing breakthrough that you're believing for. Why not visit BillyBurke.org after the broadcast and just take a look around? You'll be glad you did. Join hands with Billy Burke as he takes the miracle healing power of God around the world. Your prayers and financial support to this ministry can make all the difference. Your gift is so appreciated. Please visit BillyBurke.org or in the U.S. write Billy Burke World Outreach, P.O. Box 25441, Tampa, Florida, 33622 or call 888, the number 7 and the word HEALED. In Canada, please visit touchingtoronto.com or write to Touching Toronto in care of Selwyn Outreach Centre, 2686 Lakefield Road, Selwyn, Ontario, K9J6X5. 